In this tutorial, we're going to learn about panel serialization, which allows panels to be saved in your desired configuration or their current state. So let's hop right into prepared. In my opinion, the easiest way to show what panel serialization actually does is by using something with a big panel, say the F35 for example. So I've loaded up the default scenario with the F35, and so we can look at that panoramic cockpit display and show what panel serialization really does. Once loaded into the scenario, let's take a look at the panoramic cockpit display or PCD. You can do this by panning down and looking at it, or what I sometimes like to do is open the panel itself. So I will go to vehicle, instrument panel, main panel, and multifunction display, which opens up a large display of the PCD. From here, I can see all of the controls and switches on the PCD. So let's say that I want to modify this and save it. So let's say I want to show my HUD and take up this full screen on the left side. And then on the right hand side, I want to show my tactical display and take up that full screen as well. So now I can close down this panel. You'll also see that it is duplicated inside of the cockpit itself. I want to save in this configuration. To do this, I'm going to go to scenario and save. I need to give my scenario a name. So for this one, I'm going to call this no underscore serialization. That way I know that this has the serialization disabled and I will hit OK. Now I'm going to load up into my scenario that I just created. So to do that, I will go to scenario, load, and I will go to my no serialization file, and I will hit OK. Now I've loaded back into my scenario, but you'll notice that the PCD or panoramic cockpit display is no longer what I had it as before. It is back to default settings. To fix this, I'm going to enable the panel serialization. So to do that, I go to options, general, and then I will check mark this box that says enable panel serialization. I will hit OK. And now I'm going to re-edit my panel the way that I want it to be configured. This time I'm going to zoom in and I will change my settings right on the panel. So again, I'll pull up my HUD and my tactical display. And now I have the displays the way that I want. Now with the panel serialization enabled, I'm going to save my scenario again. This time I'm going to call this panel serialization. And then I will hit OK. Now this time I can actually reload into the scenario. So I'm going to go to scenario load and find my panel serialization and click OK. And this time you can see that I loaded into the scenario with the panels as I left them configured. So there you have it. That is how you work with panel serialization in Prepared. If you have questions or ideas for future videos, drop them in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching.